Hey, I'm Miss Mims, principal here at MacArthur Middle School, and I am thinking out the box on my birthday. So here's the first one. What was your favorite subject in school? I would probably say math was my favorite subject because I was pretty good at it. And then as I became a teacher later on in life and a principal, math became one of my least favorite because it got harder for me to do. So when I was in school, I was definitely say math. Next question, have you ever broken a bone? And if so, how? I actually broke my pinky toe on my left foot when my daughter fell on my foot about 15 years ago. And I didn't go get it checked because all they do for a broken toe is tape it to the one next to it. And so I just wore flip flops all summer until it healed up. And that's the extent of my break broken bones, which is a good thing that that's all that I've had to happen. Let's see what's next out the box. What was your favorite artist back in the day? Ooh. So probably when I was you guys' age, middle school, junior high age, I would probably say Michael Jackson and probably New Edition because they came out at about that time. And of course, they're pretty popular still. Um, we're about the same age and we really liked New Edition, me and my girlfriends. So we actually got to go to one of their concerts and I swear they painted and did all that and they were looking right at me even though we were in a big old crowd. What is your favorite clothing brand and why? So when I wear dresses or jeans and you know, I wear a lot of dresses to school, it's usually from Old Navy. It's just easy to shop there and it's pretty inexpensive. But as far as athletic gear, I'm, a, I'm an Adidas girl. I wear a lot of Adidas. Um, it's just my favorite. It's comfortable. They have lots of fun colors and lots of different styles I like. And on the weekends, I'm a kind of a leggings type girl. So they have a lot of leggings that I like. So I would say Adidas. What were you doing back in middle school on a Friday night? Probably not a whole lot. Um, slumber parties with friends and at the time when I was growing up in Lawton when I was in junior high we had the skate arena and we would go there on Friday and Saturday nights. Our parents would drop us off or we'd carpool with others and then they'd come pick us up probably like 10 o'clock not too late and we'd go home for the night so probably skate arena and just hanging out with friends. And remember back in the day we didn't have all the TV options that you all have now or phones and so we would stay up late watching MTV, watching videos, and we'd have to get on the VHS camera and record them. Or if we were listening to the radio, we'd get a tape recorder and wait for our favorite song to come on and push record real quick. And a lot of times we missed half the song, but it was definitely a different time when I was in junior high on a Friday night. Who is your favorite sports athlete and why? I would say I don't necessarily have a favorite sports athlete. I do like to see the younger guys that come right out of college get an opportunity to play professional. And as a mom, I'm always hopeful that they are successful and that they don't get hurt. But my favorite team is the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it's not really that they're my favorite team, but Mike Tomlin is my favorite coach. So I would say he's not my favorite athlete, but he's definitely my favorite coach. One day I'll get to tell him that. Let's do two more. Sound good? What did you used to do after school, back in middle school or high school? So in high school, I had a car. Uh, in 11th grade, I got a car. And we literally just hung out, pretty much like you all do now, except minus the phone and technology. We would go to each other's houses. We went to football games. We went to basketball games. We did our homework. And really, that was the, the extent of it. In those days, I say it like it was a long time ago, but I guess it was about 40 years ago. We. Um, we sat together and we just talked. We watched TV together and we talked. We did a lot of talking. We talked on the phone. We didn't text and you know back and forth like that because it wasn't available, but we talked a lot. We just socialized a lot when I was y'all's age and a little bit older. Okay. Who's your hero? Y'all know I'm a crier and I'm already tearing up. I don't know why. I would say my hero I have a couple of them at, at my age as a mom. And I'm going to say my children are my heroes for a couple of reasons. And again, I'm okay, y'all know I cry. But I think they're my heroes because they're also each other's heroes and they have a bond like you don't 
generally see in a sister and brother. And I would add to that, my big brother is probably one of my heroes too. So we're pretty tight. Woo, get over it, Ms. Mims, on your birthday. We're pretty tight, but those people are definitely my heroes. They rock the world for me. Ms. Mims, we thank you for being a part of this. Uh, I want to wish you a happy birthday. Thank you. Um, and so glad that you're at the school. I am so glad to be here, hopefully making an impact on the lives of all these 870-something kids in this building. I love all of you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Thank you. I love you guys.